right, well, the San Francisco Youth Symphony is getting into the holiday spirit. On Sunday, the symphony will be performing the timeless tale of Peter and the Wolf. And to tell us about it is the conductor himself, Radu Papineau. Thank you for joining us here. Thank you so much. It's great to be chatting with you. Yes, yeah, so I understand you're making your debut as the musical director for the San Francisco Sympathies, uh, Sympathy, <laughs> Symphony's Youth Orchestra. Uh, what are you anticipating? How are you feeling about going into your first season? Yes, I'm very, very excited about the season. We actually, we had our first concert on November 24th, but I just started in September, so it will be our our second concert. And uh, it's just been an absolute joy to work with these incredibly, incredibly gifted young, young musicians. We did the Tchaikovsky Sports uh, Symphony on our first concert in November. And uh, we're so excited really for this. What I, I think this has become a tradition of celebrating the holidays of the symphony with the San Francisco Symphony Youth Orchestra. And what kids are involved in this music program? Where are they from? All over the Bay Area? What ages are they? They are all over, from all over the Bay Area. They are ages 12 to 20. And at the moment, we have uh, 107 students. It's a very, very competitive program to, to, to get into. And uh, I have to say, every Every week has just been an absolute joy. I'm constantly uh, amazed by what they, what they can achieve. It, uh, it really feels like there is no, no ceiling uh, in terms of the musical level that can be uh, achieved, and we push it higher and higher every single week. A lot of talent here in the Bay Area. So you're doing Peter and the Wolf. Uh, if people are not familiar with that story, maybe you can give us like a little a short version of it and then how do you do um, how do you then make this a family friendly or do you have to like make make the music differently for the kids to be able to perform it or they're really at that level yeah no I mean we're not doing anything different in terms of the in terms of the the music we're treating it completely as a professional uh, concert in that sense in terms of uh, the way we are performing the music exactly the way it is written but yes, the concert, it's its not only a holiday uh, concert, even though we have such wonderful selections. There's music, festive music by Borja, uh, Strauss, and we have selections from the Nutcracker. But I also think it's really a, a program for anybody in the family because we are performing Peter and the Wolf. This is, uh, is really what it's called a symphonic uh, tale, a symphonic story. And we could not be more excited to be joined by uh, the host of Blue's Clues, Joshua de la, de la Cruz, and he will be narrating the, the story. This is a folk tale where every instrument basically uh, depicts a character. We have a cat, we have a duck, a bird, uh, the, the big bad wolf, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful way of, uh, of telling a story, and it's a wonderful composition. When I think of Prokofiev, I think of one of the most theatrical composers in the, in the classical repertoire. I, I can hear the passion and excitement in your voice. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, we, I, I really, really love what I do. I'm, I'm really, I'm a product of youth orchestra programs myself, and to be able to, to lead the San Francisco Symphony Youth Orchestra, it's a big honor and responsibility at the mm. same time, which I take very seriously. And this concert with Peter and the Wolf, is it just this weekend? And I know it's in San Francisco at the, um, at the theater off of Van Ness, but can you give people details on, like, are there still tickets available, all that good stuff? I believe there are still some tickets available. It's a one show only on Sunday, this Sunday at uh, at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Where can people go to get tickets? So they can go to the San Francisco Symphony uh, website. And, of course, if they uh, stop by the hall, they can also buy tickets directly there. And so this is your first, you know, year with the symphony. And uh, I just wanted to hear what you have in store for next year for 2025. So we're currently work, working on programming the following season, but as part of this season, in the spring of 2025, we have two more concerts. The second subscription concert, this will be on March 9th. And we have some wonderful music. We start with the Mozart, uh, Symphony Number no. 35. We also have selections from Strauss, Rosen, Cavalier. And we're also featuring a Bay Area uh, composer, Gabriela Lena Frank. And we are ending the season on May 18th, and we're really ending with a symphony fantastique, this big, big orchestral piece by, by Berlioz. Mm. Well, have so much fun this weekend. Good luck. Thank you so much. And thank you so much again for, uh, for the invitation. Of course. And um, Happy New Year. Happy New Year.